in Exxon Burn. And I just happened upon um, Christina through a friend from Mississippi. And I got severely lucky because she was um, a, just a jewel. She um, had a little thing on her Facebook that said that she did Zija. And I was really kind of just shocked because I didn't know anybody else that did Zija. So I told her a little bit, you know, about who I was and what I did. And she knew I was a fitness trainer. And she already wanted to have me over to her um, neighborhood to start training some of the people um, in her, you know, little group or whatever. So I started training them. And we kind of got to talking about Zija. She noticed that I was wearing a brace on my knee. I always had a brace on my knee because back like eight years ago, um, I tore some cartilage in my knee and I have um, developed condomalacia in it, which is like free arthritis pretty much. And um, I was really struggling with that. So I wasn't able to like do my leg routines or exercises um, for about the past eight weeks during our move. It just really flared it up. So she was asking me, she was like, well, what all do you take with Zija? And I told her and it just kind of went from there. Believe it or not, I knew nothing about Supermix, which is the basic, you know, core nutrition part of Zija. That is the absolute best product in Zija. Um, so I got on Zija um, Supermix, started taking it for about three weeks, and she noticed that I was no longer wearing my knee brace. So immediately I wanted to start sharing the product with others. I just thought it was incredible that, you know, in just that short period of time with those natural anti-inflammatories that I could experience the... Um, pain relief that I had. So naturally, I want to share it with others. I already loved X and Burn. So now I'm just kind of, you know, throwing out to people um, what I love about it and they trust me. So that's the great part about this is I've already built so much relationship with people through the industry that I've been in for so long that they trust me. They believe in what I say and it's easy to share for me, honestly. But then you have those people that aren't easy to share with because they're like, well, you know, I don't really want to take another product or whatnot. But really just prospecting and um, really reaching out to people each and every day is my main goal. I, I can't tell you how many messages I send daily to folks just telling them, you know, what I've done, what I've been through, my experience with the products and how it's helped me and my family. So sharing that with other people. And then they come back with questions and I answer those questions. And I honestly lead each and every time. All I knew about was the NHR basic kit because I was already taking the X and burn. Christina introduced me to the super mix and then the detox tea is a no brainer. So those three products right there, given that they are free enrollment and free shipping on those kits, that's the only thing I lead with. I don't know anything else about, you know, sharing about oils or anything like that. Those things will come to me later. But right now I'm just focusing on that main core nutrition and getting them those supplements that I think can show them that the products work. So sharing that and getting those out there, uh, you know, letting them know that they get such a better deal with our products has just been an easy step for me. Um, that's the only thing I know. And then on top of that, just making sure, you know, Christine is always telling me, Hey, make sure you're investing in your clients, you know, each and every week, make sure you're reaching out, asking them how they love the product, how they're taking the product. They have to be consistent with the product or they're not going to get the results that the products offer. So making sure that I grow that relationship with the customers is a big part of what I do um, because I already had the trust with the customers. But if I make sure that I'm, you know, keeping up with them and helping them advance with the products, then I know that I can keep the customer. So keeping the customer is the main focus that I have. Um, I haven't really shared a lot of samples, to be honest with you. There's a few people that have had, you know, um, some texture issues and they want to try it maybe before they buy it, things like that, or somebody that maybe has anxiety that they think, well, this may cause me to have more anxiety. Can I try it before I buy it? But really, other than that, I've maybe sent out a handful of samples I really just, um, you know, live on the fact that the, the, the supplements work. So once you get them and you start taking them and you're consistent with them, 30 to 90 days, you're never going to get, get off of them. They're uh, amazing products, the benefits that they have. And I just explain that over and over again to them. I walk through them with it. They say the detox doesn't work after the first time. I tell them to steep it longer, things like that, you know, just to keep them rolling. They see the results quickly. 
and they want more and then they share it with others. And the, what I've done is I have a couple of people on my team that have loved the product instantly. They want to share it with others. I tell them the exact same thing Christina told me. Share it with two people, make your money back on your kit, share it with another two people, get that GQ bonus. You know, it's just constant. Two people, two people, get it in pairs every single week. Um, this week I went to Mississippi. I'm GQing four times this week because I shared it with, you know, several people. And the only thing I led with was the NHR basic kit. So now my people that I'm helping on my team are doing the same thing. Mary Holland's rolling. She's getting some GQs in there. You know, she's got some people that she's training now to get GQs. We're all about just getting that GQ bonus and making sure that our customers are well taken care of and well educated with the products. And we're just trying to duplicate that over and over again. And that's pretty much just it, we're just keeping it simple. It's, I mean, it's an easy process, keep it simple, share the NHR basic kit, get those GQs and tell others how to do the same thing. Wow, Amanda, that's, uh, you're the one that sounds like you've been in seven years, not me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, that, that's good. The thing I liked about the simplicity and about, uh, because you can't get overwhelmed sometimes, guys, because there's so many products. And uh, so by not getting overwhelmed, uh, by getting somebody a check to get their investment back right away, that's awesome. Yes, so, absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Amanda. We'll continue. Thanks for having me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, what we'll do now, guys, is we're going to go down to uh, Corbin, Kentucky, Angie uh, Morales. I'll unmute you there, Angie. Angie Morales is a fitness instructor also. She's also got off to a fast start. She hit bronze uh, also. And uh, she does have a little bit of a networking, uh, well, not a little bit. She's done very well over the last year in network marketing. But uh, Angie is just, she told me, she said, well, I don't even uh, focus on the business at all. She's almost like a female D. Hutchins right now in that she's just talking about health and wellness and helping people because the products helped her. So Angie, if you would, please give us your background. Tell us a little bit about what you've been able to do to get off to uh, fast All right, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so um, that is absolutely true. Um, just hearing her talk about GQ bonus and GQ bonus, and I'm sitting here thinking, oh, I have so much to learn, and that's why I have Wheel, thank goodness. Um, so I am just literally sharing from my heart. I also am a fitness trainer, group exercise director, turned bodybuilder, turned crossfitter. I've been in the fitness industry working a real job as a trainer for 19 years. And um, I have been 200 pounds down to 110 on stage. I've competed 17 times. So I have been in Facebook land since the day it started. Um, with just myself being out there, but never ever did I do that with the intentions of building network marketing team. I was actually anti network marketing because people came to me and begged me to do their products to show everybody how I was going to lose weight. Well, I was against that because I believe that if you're going to lose weight, you have to do it with nutrition, exercise, water, rest. Um, but I did sample in Zija back in 2012 and I truly did it for mental clarity and focus and energy. And that is exactly what I got. And I was never marketed to me as a weight loss product or I probably would have said no, um, but it was marketed to me that way. So I guess in a way I learned that. Um, and it kind of just fell out of my life. Our finances wasn't good back then. We were living paycheck to paycheck, barely, probably not even making it. And it just fell off the shelf and I never used it again until I got in touch with Wheel. And then I restarted the, the nutrition. So I'm kind of the same way as Amanda said, I focus on just kind of the, the main things right now. That way it doesn't overwhelm your new people. Um, build yourself a following on Facebook if that's the method you choose. That's how I do it. I started a fitness VIP group. Um, there's a 420 people in the group. I give them constant free knowledge, recipes, workouts. I'm constantly on there trying to get them to engage. I do videos and all of that thing just builds your trust with people. And then randomly you'll just drop the little, 
the little tidbit about Zija, about the nutrition. I'm, I mean, I'm truly blessed with the energy and the focus and um, the appetite control that I'm getting. So when I start to talk about that, people start to ask what I'm talking about. And that's when you just tell them what you have. Now, um, also, I'm an online coach, so I can reach out to people all over and help them with workouts and flexible dieting. And I've done that for years. So um, I decided to incorporate Zija into my packages. So when someone wants to do a monthly challenge with me, they pay a certain fee to do the challenge, but they're getting some free Zija in the process. And we all know that after day one, you are pretty much hooked. And so my September monthly challenge ended up with 35 people. So right off the bat, 35 people have the product in their hands. And I am constantly connected to these people 24 seven. So we're constantly talking about how they're feeling, where um, all of them are having the energy, the mental clarity. So of course, all of them are wanting to buy into the product. Some are still just wanting samples. And I'm okay with that until I know that they're ready to make that full commitment and sign up for the auto ship. So that's how I've been going at it. So for me, it has worked extremely well to do it as samples. People see me talk about it that are not part of my challenge group. They're messaging me. They want to know how to get their hands on it. And for me, I would want to try before I buy. So that's kind of how I approach it. This is your way to try before you commit to a full month. And by saying it that way, you've already triggered that full month option in their head. They don't even know you've said it, but when you do it that way, it's triggered, it's in there, they're thinking about it, and then they're done with their four day sample and they're like, oh, I need that full month that she was talking about. And that's when you go back in with the full month and that's when you maybe grow, go it back in with the price. I don't talk price for, to people until I already know that they love the product because I don't want to scare them away because I am that person that had to quit using it because of the price years ago. And um, not everybody's in the same financial situation and I don't want to scare them away because the product is super worthy. It's life changing for a lot of people. Um, I'm getting messages by the day from my girls that have, um, have had so many issues that are being fixed by Zija, if that's the right way to say it. But I'm also documenting testimonies and then asking them to share it so that people can hear it from other than just me. And I think that helps when people can hear it from outside of just you. They're seeing that it's happening to everybody that's getting their hands on the product. And it was pretty big in my town back in 2012. And all of us, I think kind of did the same thing for whatever reason. It just kind of faded out of the light and we all just kind of quit taking it. There's so many of those people that saw me on Facebook that had used it before. Some of them were even distributors that are like, I've got to have this back in my life. Can you get me some more? They're like, I don't want to be a distributor right now, but can you get this back in my life? And we all know that they're probably going to turn right around and share it and end up being a distributor. At least that's what I hope for. But, um, I think that's really, for me, I don't know a lot about the business. And so when someone asks me about how to make money in the business, I have to go straight to Will. And I basically get him in touch with them. And we do three-way calls or three-way messages. And I'm learning as I grow. But for me, um, that's the best way for me. And that way, I don't feel overwhelmed. And it's working very well. It's amazing. And um, I'm going to continue to do my monthly challenges because that's a way to get it into people's hands and not be salesy because I don't like sales that way. Awesome, Angie. Uh, you've done a great job. Uh, Angie had within her group today, Dee Hutchins uh, did a special on what Moringa was. And uh, so I was actually at the church with Dee doing that before I had to hurry home to, to get this set up. So Angie, thanks for all you do. Continue to lead. Lots of success in the future. Okay, now, guys, uh, I've got a chance to uh, bring on Becky Davidson. One thing, guys, if, if you don't know Becky, Becky is one of those uh, people that will kick in a door and find a way to make something happen. She uh, was a six-figure earner in sales and marketing. Um, I was actually one of her clients. I was a business owner in Nashville, Tennessee. 
and that's how we met. And uh, it took me, I don't know if it was eight to, to 10 months to kind of dripping on Becky. And uh, I didn't think she was ever going to do it, and she decided to do it. And whatever Becky does, she does full speed. Becky does not have uh, half speed. She has a, a big market growing in Nashville and also in the St. Louis markets with Barb and, and Janelle and some, some good distributors up there. But she is as good uh, as anybody I've seen as far as getting in with businesses and finding leads. I mean, she works this kind of like it's her, her sales job that she had before, and she's booking three or four appointments a day. So, Becky, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot, Will. And Angie and Amanda, I'm so impressed with what you guys have done. You guys are amazing. Can't wait to meet you. Hope you're going to be at um, Summit. I'll have a chance to meet you there. But, um, so, yeah, I've been doing this business since um, – gosh, December 2016, and my background is sales and marketing. I am not a fitness instructor. I am not a nutritionist. I am not an expert in health and wellness by any stretch of the imagination. I'm a sales and marketing person that just happens to be passionate about health and wellness. I'm 54, so I'm at that point in my life where it's important to me. And I'm also one that is um, very eager and willing to share things that I love and I believe in. And so I got really passionate about the product and the company, and I just started sharing it. I started with friends and family, but, and, I, and of course, everybody starts with friends and family, but you have to be good at prospecting because friends and family are only going to get you so far. And so there's two things you can do, marketing and you can do prospecting. Marketing is putting Facebook ads out there or, or doing Facebook lives where you're going to market to the masses and people are going to raise their hand and say they're interested where that is very passive i'm not one to sit back and wait for people to reach out to me i am very proactive and over time if you just keep sifting and sorting through the same people you're going to run out of people so i like to build my audience and i have four things i'm going to share and this will probably be more helpful to some of the more seasoned people out there uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is social media and Facebook. Are you growing your Facebook audience? What are you doing to grow your Facebook audience? Because if you keep just marketing to the same group of people on Facebook, over time you're going to get the low-hanging fruit, but eventually a lot of people will just kind of tune you out. So, And even those people like Will, I saw all of his posts on Facebook, but if he had not been reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, I would never have raised my hand and said, you know, come talk to me, I'm interested, because I was not that person that would have done that. I was busy, I, I would have probably went on Amazon and bought it myself if <laughs> I really wanted the product, quite honestly. I didn't know him that well, but I would have um, said, hey, I wanna, I wanna do Zizia. So you have to constantly be asking people to take a look. You know, if they like your post, reach back out to them. But what is your strategy to get people on your social media, to get people to, to friend you or to, to find you? In the last two to three days, I've had over 100 people that have sent me friend requests. A lot of them are network marketers, women. They're finding me. They're wanting to connect. Of course, they want to sell me. I just signed up a, an NHR kit the other day from someone that was trying to sell me. When they want to sell me, I'm the first one to say, absolutely, I would love to get on a call with you and learn what you're doing and see how we can collaborate. And I get on the call with them and I ask them questions, I listen to them and I uncover and how do you like it, how's it going? And then it's my turn to talk. I listen and I ask all the questions and then it's my turn to share what I have to say. And I have all the ammunition I need and I have the experience, we have the product, we have the company. And I can, I can usually get them turned around and at least get them considering. So don't be afraid to have conversations. I know a lot of people think, oh gosh, don't talk to other network marketers. No, no, talk to them. I know Angie does, or not uh, yeah, Angie does something else. I think she does the lip stuff. I see her doing her post. So obviously that didn't scare Will away from talking to her. They're great prospects for us. People that are in network marketing, they might be the right time. They might be frustrated. They might not have a good experience with their leader. So if we can uncover something, we can then give them a solution. So that's one thing. I also created a meetups. So I have, um, I work with about, I have about 650 customers and distributors and about 80 small business owners that I've built. I am really passionate about working with small business owners. And I'm, before I go to meetups, I'm gonna to touch on the business owners. 
the first thing that I would absolutely do for anyone is if you're not calling on chiropractors, gym owners, and personal trainers, you're missing the boat. Because people that are chiropractors, gym owners, and personal trainers, like Amanda and Angie, have a natural audience. They have the, the circle of influence that people come to them for health and wellness. They're not coming to Becky Davidson for health and wellness, but they are coming to Angie and Amanda for health and wellness. So it's just a natural crossover promotion. So get some of those people on your team because they can fill, feed our pipeline, fill our pipeline. And so I have about five gym owners. I have personal trainers on my team. I have chiropractors on my team. And I collaborate with them. I do healthy happy hours, health and wellness clinics, lunch and learns. I do events for them. And I let them lead me to their audience. I help them build a passive residual income. So I would absolutely call on small business owners. Once you get a few, you get a few chiropractors, you get a few gym owners. It's like, man, this is really easy. I have a strategy to talk to business owners that they absolutely are interested. I have car repair. I have you know, insurance, re uh, realtors. They're used to booking appointments. They're used to having salespeople talk to them. So it's a really easy person to talk to. But what I like about it, they have the money and they have the audience. They have the circle of influence. And so if you can tap into their resources, which are the people that know, like, and trust them, you can, you can start selling to them. So I started working with some gyms and we started doing something called the One Ton Club, and, um, which was just a weight loss um, program with another guy that was in another team that's lost 200 pounds using our products. Uh, but in doing that, I started up a meetup. If, you, if you're not familiar with meetups.com, you can go to meetups. It does cost a little bit of money. I think it's like $15. But I started a health and wellness meetup in Nashville. I have 260 people that are interested in my health, in health and wellness on my meetups. 260 people that want to get fit, feel better, get. And so I'm prospecting through, through that. We're getting ready to have a big event and invite all of these people. I'll have a couple of my personal trainers, my gym owners, myself talking about nutrition. And we're going to basically introduce them to the concept of working together, collaborating together, getting fit, feeling better, and getting on a great nutritional product. And I'll find, and hopefully I'll find some really good leaders in that group. So meetups, that was really easy. Once you set it up, meetups recommends them, recommends your meetup to people. And so it just keeps growing. I would say every day I get two to three new people that join my meetup. So I would definitely do that. And then the last thing I wanted to share that is just a, a different strategy. I have lots of strategies I could share, so I don't want to overwhelm you guys, but uh, I recently did a training with a gal, a coach on LinkedIn. Since I do a lot of B2B, I, um, somehow we got connected and I spent some time. She actually re-optimized my LinkedIn profile and did some training. There's a whole strategy for LinkedIn because LinkedIn is a great search engine. You can type in the head of LinkedIn, personal trainers in Nashville, per, um, fitness coaches, nutritional coaches, um, chiropractors, whatever. And you can find a whole list and then start communicating to those people. And so I definitely would recommend putting a little time and energy into LinkedIn, but I am going to do a free webinar with her. She's offered to do a free webinar. So you're more than welcome to join us on that. And um, once she optimized my LinkedIn page, I started having people reach out to me wanting to book an appointment with me to talk to me about what I was doing. And so I've signed up about five or six people through LinkedIn. And that's kind of cool when people are reaching out to me saying, hey, I see that you're in the health and wellness space. Can we, can we set up a time to talk? I want to see what you're doing. I see you collaborate with other businesses. So um, I am a firm believer to use more than one strategy and get good at them all, or maybe not great at them all, but try different things. Maybe some are going to work better than others, but as you're building a team, you've got to teach people how to prospect. I just met with a gal that tried to recruit me for another nutritional product. I was asking her questions and digging in, and I said, well, how good are you at prospecting? She was like, not at all. I go, once you get past your friends and family, what are you planning on doing? She's like, I have no idea. And I said, well, I can help you. And so you have to be educating not only yourself, 
you have to educate yourself first so that then you can pass on this information to other people. So even if it feels uncomfortable, try it because it could be great and just bring in a different caliber of people for you. So I'm always open to trying new things. And those are my four tips. Awesome. Thank you so much, Becky. And guys, you heard three great testimonies tonight from people that aren't just saying it, they're doing it. They're making things happen. So appreciate you guys uh, plugging in. I will share this if you want to use it later on and or share it with your people. Uh, I, I told you 30 minutes. I don't want to get too long. So we will have one next week at the same time on leadership. I'm going to get Dee Hutchins and probably uh, another leader that will come on. So appreciate you guys. Anything we can do, reach out. Let's continue moving forward. Have a great rest of the week. Good night. Thanks.